Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of this very interesting case. This is uh, the little piece of bone, the little piece of dead mastoid bone or bony sequestrum underneath the compound microscope at times 40 magnification, I think. And uh, as you can see, it looks unusual, but it could be dead skin. And that's what we wanted to verify. So what we decided to do was uh, immerse this little piece of bone in potassium hydroxide or KOH. So K being the chem chemical uh, sign for potassium and OH is the hydroxyl group. 10% uh, and what this does is it will lyse or dissolve skin basically. So um, normally a KOH test is for checking fungal infections. So if you've had a case of ringworm or a suspected fungal infection somewhere on your body, your doctor might take skin scrapings with a you know, a dull scalpel. Um, and those skin scrapings will then go onto a microscope slide with potassium hydroxide. After some time, it will dissolve all of the skin and then the doctor or, or lab technician or pathologist or whoever can look into the microscope and all of the skin will be lysed, will be dissolved, but the fungal cells will remain. And we've, done, we've shown that before on the channel. It is really, really fascinating. The fungus often looks beautiful uh, underneath the microscope. So I'll link that down in the description box below where we, um, where we did a KOH test to identify a case of otomycosis, which is a fungal ear infection. But this is what it looks like after two days immersed in this little test tube of potassium hydroxide. So if it was just a little clump of dead skin, um, it would all just, you know, even after, you know, five hours probably, it would have just dissolved into nothing. It would have been mush. But here we can see it's a nice white piece of bone. These little crystals here are um, the potassium hydroxide dried on the slide and, and it's left behind these beautiful crystals here. So rather fascinating. And this is the piece of bone again. If you're wondering why it looks different and it looks kind of broken up into segments, I thought I would be clever and try and fish it out with crocodile forceps and that just broke it basically. So that was unfortunate. But um, here we're looking at it in standard light field microscopy and or now we're looking at a dark field and uh, I decided to stain it blue not for any particular scientific reason I just thought it would look nice and increase the contrast and I think what I've used here is Giemser stain not that it needed Giemser stain I, you know, I could have stained it with fountain pen ink something like that but uh, I often find that when you stain things um, because you increase the contrast, it's nicer or easier to look at at very, very high magnification. So I think this is times 100 maybe, something like that. Um, but absolutely beautiful specimen. So there we go. It is, it is bone. It is a bony sequestrum. Presumably uh, it is delaminated from the substrate, the healthy tissue underneath due to infection and the infection would have caused uh, a compromise in the blood supply of the bone. So there we go. I will leave you with a little bit more of this footage. I hope you enjoyed it and of course if you have any questions leave them down in the comments section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. 